In recent decades, Brazil has become an agricultural powerhouse, including in the area of livestock. The South American giant is now the leading global exporter of poultry, as well as beef. With the exception of Brazil's cattle, which are still mainly free-ranging, often in form of forest, most egg, meat, chicken, veal, and pork production takes place in factory farm facilities. In addition to meat, the Brazilian government has worked hard to develop its soy sector, a key component of farmed animal feed. The country currently harvests over 22 million hectares of soy each year, doubling the area harvested in the past 10 years and rivaling U.S. levels. Brazil's skyrocketing livestock and soy production have come at significant ecological costs in terms of land degradation, destruction of biological diversity, water pollution, and climate change. Brazil's position as the global leader in beef exports is largely due to ongoing cattle ranching in the Amazon rainforest. Between 2003 and 2008, 110,000 square kilometers of Amazon forest was cleared, even as rates of deforestation have slowed somewhat. Cattle are still the primary reason. Nearly 75 million cows, almost 40% of Brazil's herd, are produced in the Amazon. And ranching accounts for 65 to 70 percent of land use in former forest. Soy, for Brazil's livestock, also exported for animal feed to Europe and increasingly China, is also driving deforestation and the transformation of Brazil's ecosystems. This can be seen most clearly in the biodiverse Cerrado grasslands of the state of Mato Grosso. Here, non-inclusion of the Cerrado in the National Forest Code allows farmers to clear as much as 65 to 80 percent of their plots, as opposed to the 20 percent allowed in forested areas. 89 percent of soy is now produced in the Cerrado, whose savannas stretch across a quarter of Brazil. This region is home to at least as many species as the Amazon, and is the source of 80 percent of Brazil's waterways. An estimated 48% of the Cerrado has been converted to farmland, which means it is disappearing twice as fast as the Amazon. The region is expected to be completely cleared by 2050, should current trends persist. As in the poultry, beef and pork sectors, multinational agribusinesses control nearly all aspects of Brazil's soy production. Infrastructure to process and ship soy exists throughout the country. In 1999, U.S. agribusiness giant Cargill began building a highly controversial $20 million deep water port in the Amazonian town of Santarém, on the banks of the Tapajós. Alongside the intended paving of an 1,100-mile-long road from Mato Grosso to Santarém, the port, which became fully operational in 2003, is a cornerstone of Cargill's Brazil operations. It is estimated that the Amazon forests capture and hold between 80 to 120 billion tons of carbon, helping to slow global warming not only in Brazil, but also across the world. As the country's forests and grasslands give way to soy and cattle, the carbon-absorbing capacity of the vegetation is lost. In addition, the fires used to clear the land release carbon dioxide into the air, further accelerating climate change. In 2006, burning of Brazil's forests resulted in the pumping of close to 265 million tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Recent estimates put the contribution of greenhouse gas emissions from the destruction of the Cerrado on par with those from the Amazon. And land clearing in Brazil now accounts for 75% of its total carbon dioxide emissions. Half of the country's greenhouse gases stem from its cattle sector, contributing significantly to its status as the world's fourth largest greenhouse gas emitting country. Amid global pressure to address global warming and curtail the destruction of the Amazon, Brazil's president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, has pledged to cut Amazon deforestation rates by 72% by 2018. But his government has also announced another goal, to double the nation's cattle herd by then, too.